Well, hello monkeys. Welcome back to the circus. Hey, today it's going to be pretty casual. We'll be sitting there having some coffee. We'll be talking about one of my favorite fifth pocket knives. We're talking about the Giant Mouse Ace Riv. Now, this hasn't always been one of my favorite fifth pocket knives. Uh, we started out pretty contentiously, this one and I, the morning after I received it. Sitting here, in fact, it's that very coffee cup. About to take a picture and I set it down on the coffee cup and you guessed it, straight in the drink. Speaking of drink. Anyway. I could not flip this thing to save my life. Uh, this is one of the knives that kind of reinforced that I am not very good at frame locks. But I learned, I got better. Um, I found that I'm much better without the clip on, so I leave the clip off of this one. <laughs> I say that as I whiff the deployment. Um, I'm actually better at the flick. This one also taught me how to flick a very small knife that is a frame lock. And none of that is easy for me. It's been two months since I carried this. And uh, it felt like it at first. This is the second day I've carried this in a row. And it, it comes back quick. It's muscle memory just like anything. But... You just don't, like I said, I whiffed the first deployment. That's, I'm just rusty with it. I haven't, after not carrying it for a couple months, it is, but once you get used to it, it's very fluid, it's very comfortable once you get to know it. If you would have asked me in the first two weeks I owned this, what I thought of it, I would have told you, I, yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, it feels wonderful in hand when it's deployed. It thinks it's twice the size it is. I mean, it really wants to tear into things. That LMAX steel on that blade. Let me tell you, the, the edge on this, I bought this one used. Uh... And the blade on this one, it said like new. The blade on this one looked like somebody had sharpened the first like inch and a half of the blade with maybe a diamond rod or something. Yeah, it was just kind of scratched up looking. <laughs> and I'm no expert at sharpening, so uh, I'm not casting aspersions necessarily, but yeah, it wasn't pretty. Um, so, after I dunked it in coffee the very first day, I owned it. Uh, I took it apart, cleaned up everything inside. This thing runs on bearings, so got to rinse those out right away. I took it apart immediately and uh, rinsed out the bearings, cleaned them out, blew them out with WD-40, and then hit them with some oil. And then uh, scrubbed down the micarta. And uh, while I had it apart, I just took the opportunity to go ahead and sharpen the blade while it was dismounted. And it took an amazing edge. Uh, it takes a very nice um, polished edge as well as, I mean, for a polished edge, you don't want to over polish most metals. This one takes a very good polished edge as well and stays sharp. At least it did for me. Uh, as a novice sharpener, this was wonderful for me to sharpen. It felt very good on the stones, all of that. So, if that means anything to you. These, let's get in there. In fact, let's see if it's any better with a light. Um, these are not milled out in any way, shape, or form. And now that I can see inside there with the light, there is 
a nested liner inside of that my card. I could not remember for the life of me if there was or not, but uh, there is. Neither side is milled out in any form, but uh, that doesn't really matter. The uh, I can throw you some a few stats on this thing. Um, like I said, you see the only billboarding on this is the the giant mouse logo and the ace. The ace just connotes their unlimited line. They'll reprint this or reprint. Uh, they'll make more of these over time, whereas with their giant mouse limited line, it's a very limited run right off the bat. It's 400 and that's it. This is the unlimited line. This, so you know, on their site and at most retailers, runs 195 new. Um, green micarta on this one, it goes up from there. They do have a brass version and a titanium version. All of them have the mic, uh, the uh, L Max blade, and uh, titanium frame lock. All models, all versions of this, at least that I'm aware of. Question mark. But. Blade length is 62 millimeters or 2.44 inches. The blade stock, right there, is 0 0.118 inches, 118 thousandths of an inch or 3 millimeters thick, which for a knife this small is a really nice slab of LMAX. The handle length is 3.375 inches or 85.73 millimeters. The overall length tip to tail is 5.75 inches or 146 millimeters and it weighs 2.4 ounces or 68 grams. Now one of the main reasons I bought this in addition to the fact that it's a Voxnez Zanso design giant mouse made out of awesome quality materials. It was produced by Riot Knives. Yes, they're a Chinese manufacturer, but it was OEM'd by them. And, oh, get my finger off that lock bar. Let me tell you, um, smooth as butter when you don't fat finger the lock bar. And, uh, yeah, it just very nice. So, um, this was my first opportunity to buy, to own, to otherwise get my monkey mitts on a Riot manufactured knife. And, um, like I said, it started out pretty rocky, not because of Riyadh or anything impartial to the design. It's Ergos. Again, a lot of things boil down to I have short, fat fingers on big, meaty palms. So uh, I have to learn sometimes to adapt to the Ergos of the knife in this situation, which isn't very often. Uh, I'm usually not willing to. And even then... Uh, I would still like to eventually get my hands on um, other giant mouse knives. The Biblio, the Grand, um, even the Clyde, and the Iona. I just want, I, I want to check them out and see how those feel in my hand because as something this small feels so good in hand, I just don't quite get it. But it does. So I don't have to get it. It just is. Now, to show you what this would look like. In maybe a daily EDC. Where is? It's on my hip, dummy. So that is kind of what the EDC rotation would look like today. Had this out tonight. Had a different, bigger folder in there earlier today. But uh, this has been on my hip quite a bit lately. Uh, had it in my pouch of my hoodie, actually, tonight. 
uh, doing a little bit of work outside and it was fairly cold and uh, didn't feel like digging underneath my coat and my hoodie and everything so it just made better sense but uh, it is not an inexpensive knife but it is a very well-made knife out of very good materials so that's one of those value calls you have to make um, you know other knives that would fit into this category for me or of course most notably the little native so um, you know 210 versus 195 comparable price comparable value to some um, I love them both uh, you would be amazed how similar in some ways the ergos are and how different they are in other ways um, this one feels better in hand overall but this one doesn't feel bad this one is infinitely more fidgety so all of those are things to contemplate when you're deciding between this knife that knife the other knife is it meeting all of the criteria this thing is not fidgety what it is is a lesson in teaching myself how to use a frame lock and a very small frame lock at that. Um, it is a very quality, classy knife that looks good to hand to someone, looks good in photos. Man, this micarta, it looks completely different in photos than it does in real life, so I hope it's standing out for you guys the way it does in most photos. But this thing is all over my Instagram account. Um, like I said, it's a very photogenic knife. It's one of my favorite to carry for my small folder. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Just ask away down there, and uh, I'll do what I can. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm going to finish up my coffee, get to editing this, and uh, put it up on the channel for you. Hope you're having a great week. Have a happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. I appreciate you all, and I wish you the best holiday if you're in here in America. Um, if you're elsewhere, just have a great week and a great weekend coming up. And uh, if you have American friends, wish them a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll see you soon, or at least I hope I do. Until then, stay well, be kind, do good. This is Grumpy. I'm out. I want my knife and I want my coffee. Somebody shut out the lights, please. Thanks. Later.